What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna talk about the Rotogrip clone without the polish. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you like the jersey I'm wearing in this video or in any of my videos, go to coolwake.com and use my promo code NAPOLIS10 that'll get you 10% off your entire order. All right, so the Rotogrip clone is an asymmetrical solid that comes out of box with the React Gloss polish. And I've had a lot of people ask me, well, what is this gonna look like with surface because it is a big ASIM solid. So that's exactly what we're gonna take a look at today. Now normally, I do my surface prep by hand, but because there was polish on it, I took it into the pro shop and I had them do it on the spinner to make sure that there was no polish on it. So I hit this with a 500 pad and then a 2000 pad, just to make sure that there was no polish left and then smoothing out that 500 a little bit. So that's exactly the finish that it is. Uh, we'll talk about the core numbers real quick in 15 pounds, 251, 056 differential, 0.016 intermediate uh, differential, the PSA, and it's the OptiTrack solid cover stock. And so it looks amazing with polish. With polish, it wants to get through the fronts nice and easy, wants to really pop down lane. So today we're gonna look at, see what the differences are going to be with the surface. We're gonna be here at Samstown on lane two on a fresh, typical house shot. Now the question I have for you guys is, do you guys like changing the surface of your bowling ball or do you just throw it out the box and however it is, that's how you throw it forever? Why, why not? All that good stuff, let me know. All right, here's the first shot with the clone with the surface. Feels very tacky still with the surface. I missed right and that recovered a ton. All right, same spot here. I'm not gonna try to leak it as far to the right. Get a little bit more up the lane. I'm starting at about 25 with my feet. I really should have warmed up before I started filming. I was in the pro shop for 20 minutes and that's too long to not re-warm up. Let's make a better shot, get it nice and up the lane here. There we go. Okay, so that didn't hook nearly as much. I'm gonna move about two right with my feet to try to get out of that flat 10 area. And if not, I got one other move I think I can make here. So that looked okay. Let's throw one more. And then so I'm not throwing it all that great, but so far I prefer it with polish than with the surface. Yeah, I'm gonna make another move. Yeah, so this ball just has too much diff, too strong a cover to play straight. So we're gonna move left. This will be about 29 with my feet. Just let the ball see a little bit more volume. This usually does the trick here. There we go. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it needed. Just a little bit more oil, get it to push a little bit further and not burn up. Let's try another shot here. Yeah, I absolutely have to keep this in the oil. It is way too strong with the surface and I regret doing it. Yeah, that looks good in the oil. Yeah, that's much, I, I have to keep it in the oil. And because of that, I think I'm gonna prefer it with polish. But it does look good when I keep it in the oil. I do, however, think that if I was bowling on a sports shot with a little bit more volume, I think this would look really, really good. But on house, I'm gonna keep the polish for sure. Now I will say that while I still prefer it polished, it does look really good from further in with the surface. Plus it allows me to get further left faster. All right, so coming off the lanes, throwing the clone with surface for the first time, the one big thing is that it, oh, that kid is loud. <laughs> the one big thing is that if you have 
friction. This ball is going to hate that friction with the surface. The ball just immediately rolled out, burned up, whatever adjective you want to use. But when I moved left and kept it in the oil, it even allowed me to shape it a little bit. Then all of a sudden it looked really good. So if you're bowling on high volumes or a sports shot that's a little bit flatter and you need a stronger ball, don't be afraid to knock the polish off of this clone. So I'm gonna get back on the lanes and continue to chase it left just to see if it ever runs out of, runs out of down lane motion when I, as long as I keep it in the oil. All right, back on the lanes. I'm gonna get a little bit further left just to shape it a little bit more, but still want to retain it in the oil. That blue light kind of, it's a little distracting. Yeah, this thing is a hook monster with surface. Again, as long as you keep it in the oil. Push a little. Man, Chris Stones would be proud of how far left I'm getting. Chris, if you're watching, are you proud? All right, another good shot from here. See how long it takes to burn up that line. Yeah, that last shot there was nice because I got it right a little bit and it shaped just enough to kick out the, uh, the back pins there. Got it right again. There we go. All right, again, just execute another good shot. See if we can keep going here. All right, that's six in a row. See if I can get another six for uh, bills, three bills. And now that I say it, of course, I'm gonna mess it up. That should be good. And of course, as soon as I say something. All right. Hopefully we don't get another 10 pin. That felt so good too off my hand. I wish I can get that 10 pin back, but it is what it is. The ball looks really good with surface, surprisingly. I wish I can get that 10 pin back. All right, so if you have a clone and you want to play further in early, knock that shine off because it actually looks really good, very responsive. However, I think I still prefer it with polish. Let me know what you guys think, though. Oh, missed in. Oh, okay. All right, last shot of the video here. Let's end on a good note, because this video was very informative for me. All right, so now we're all done throwing the rotor grip clone with surface. And at the Tom beginning, desk, please. Tom for desk. and at the beginning, I did not like it at all because it was flat 10, flat 10, flat 10, rolled out. Then I moved left into the oil and then all of a sudden the ball comes to life, looks really good, creates shape, goes through the pins, does all the right things. And once I moved left, I struck a ton with this ball. I still think that I would like it a little bit more with polish, especially because we bowl league. I typically don't want to get that far left that fast in league, um, but it's definitely an option there.